it's opinionated infrastructure again. And this week, I want to talk about something, well, something kind of interesting. You know, we think about innovation and who's going to do that and, you know, who's kind of leading the stuff, who's doing stuff pretty fast. I've been talking a lot recently about Swift. And I've been talking about how IBM is making contributions to that regard. So when I saw this tweet, I was like, that's really interesting. I want to talk about that. We've got this new thing arising. It's wearables. Well, these are watches. They're not really wearables. They're just watches. But this is the Apple Watch. It's good to have as many of them as you can. Notifications. Tell me what's going on. I think they're going to go away. I actually think that's kind of dull. We're going to be moving forward where there are smaller things that are just giving us a sense of what's going on. Why do we always have to carry things? There's this other world. It's beacons. There's beacons going off and allowing location-based services and applications. Boop, check out that beacon. Beacon, beacon. And it turns out there's even a new word for this. It's a terrible word, but I kind of like it too. It's kind of shonky. It's nearables. So we've got wearables, nearables, things you go in your ear so you don't have to wear one of these. Those are called hearables. And we're going to need new programming sort of frameworks for doing this. I've been thinking about this a lot because it's headless apps. It's not always going to be Let's actually look at, I mean, this is basically just a computer on my wrist. You know, this is a, a, a shonky kind of 2000s interface. You know, we're moving forward where everything is voice. We've got Alexa, we've got Siri, we've got Watson, we've got things talking to us. We're going to have much more of a conversational kind of interface. And so think about how we develop that. One thing I was thinking about, well, how do we develop apps that are really about interaction models where I might have a thing on my wrist, a thing in my ear. Yes, there might be a screen in a particular room. And you're not developing for the screen anymore. So we've had kind of first screen first development. We really need to think much more about kind of gestures and how people interact with each other because we're going to be interacting with bots. We're going to need new programming models. And I think that's really interesting. And I was just surprised that, hey, look, IBM's getting on with it. That's opinionated infrastructure.